going to give you guys, of course, five little tips you guys can implement into your Vegas Pro version, no matter what version you have, to prevent the crashes, to reduce it, the freezing, if it's during the editing or during the exporting. So the first one is going to be pretty, pretty straightforward. So we're going to go and change the GPU acceleration settings for just a second. So what we need to do for that is we're going to go to the options button at the very top. Then we're going to go down to preferences and we're going to hit the video tab right here. So then right here we see this third option that says GPU acceleration of video processing. Standardly that's going to be on optimal NVIDIA Corporation, NVIDIA GeForce RDX 2070. It's going to basically say your graphics card. You want to switch that one to off and that is basically how you want to keep that setting. You want to hit on apply and then you want to hit on OK. That's going to actually change a little bit more of how Vegas Pro is going to perform and is not going to run like the majority of your project through your graphics card and all that, especially for the GPU acceleration. Just because Vegas Pro can sometimes divide like how much RAM are you using that we'll also get to in just a second or the GPU acceleration, which is going to be controlled by your graphics card. So the next option is basically importing your files differently because if you're editing a lot of different files and clips from different lengths, different qualities and different frame rates, if it's even 4K, if you're going to drag that straight from your SD card onto your project, it can actually trigger some crashes or even if you have it already on your computer and if you then drag it into Vegas Pro, that can also trigger some crashes. So to prevent that, it's just to import your files differently by going to file at the top and then we want to click on import and then you see media, media from project, Premiere Pro, After Effects. You can also load in and open up After Effects or Premiere Pro projects if you want that. Final Cut Pro as well, and all the other options that we have, but we're gonna stick for media right now. Then of course, it's going to open up or a folder, and then what we need to do is basically just select our footage, and then I wouldn't really touch Vegas Pro while it's exporting. I wouldn't even go out of the window, just in case, you know, if something might go wrong and the importing crashes. So just keep Vegas running how it is when it's importing, and that's also going to be a lot, a lot more stable when you're going to import footage, because I also just always used to drag and drop my files from my you know folder on my hard drive into Vegas Pro but sometimes when it's a lot of footage or a really heavy project with music sound effects overlays you know lower thirds and all that sometimes it can just crash and it's way way better and more efficient to also just import your files through this method moving on to the third little tip that I'm going to give you guys which is the dynamic RAM preview so if you have let's say 16 gigabytes of RAM into your computer or 32 or 64 you can actually choose like how much is Vegas Pro allowed to use? So we're going to go to the options menu once again and we're going to hit preferences as well. Then we're going to go to the video tab again and right here we have the dynamic RAM preview max. So this is going to be the slider that's going to decide how much RAM Vegas Pro can use to the maximum. So right now it is set on zero megabytes just so Vegas Pro can choose how much it wants to use. But if you want to give it a lot more space, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM available. So I'm not going to use all my RAM for Vegas Pro. Otherwise, no other programs will be able to run properly on my computer while Vegas Pro is open. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to crank this up to, let's say that we're going to give this one about 16 gigs of RAM, just like that, because I just want to keep everything else for, you know, my browsers and all the tabs you have open. So right now, once we have done that, we're going to click on apply. Now it's going to say the dynamic RAM preview function uses RAM shared by other applications on your computer, just like I mentioned, different softwares that you have open, including your operating system as well where Windows is running on. If you notice playback issues or general computer performance problems after increasing the setting, lower the amount you allocate here. And if you notice that your computer is way, way slower or that different applications are lagging, just make sure to crank it down to eight gigabytes or maybe 12 instead of the regular 16 that we have, or even just four gigabytes. You'd really have to see which one and which setting works best for your system. So we're gonna click on okay right now like that. And of course we have to reboot Vegas in order for these changes to take effect. The next tip is basically updating your drivers because of course, if you have your preview right here and if it's lagging or if it's crashing when you play it back, sometimes it can also ha have something to do with your graphics card. If it's if the drivers are outdated, checking your driver updates on your graphics card isn't something you actually would do every single day. That can also cause like some freezes if your graphics card needs to be updated. So what you want to do is you just want to go to Google for a second. We're gonna type in basically the brand of our graphics card. I have an NVIDIA 
Nvidia, but some people can have also AMD. So I'm going to type in Nvidia. And then right here, you want to go to the drivers button. And right here, I have a GeForce RDX 2070. So right here, we're going to type in or rather search for GeForce. The product series is going to be RTX 2070. So I'm going to look for the RTX 20 series right here. I'm going to pick my GeForce RDX 2070. The operating system is Windows 11. And then the driver download type is going to be the game ready driver and the language is going to be US. Then I'm going to hit search and then it's going to automatically browse through all the drivers. And then right here we have this one. I'm going to click on download where we can just update the drivers for a graphics card. We are downloading the latest update for our graphics card and that's just something really really crucial because of course if you're updating like your own windows system it could actually include like drivers for your graphics card but if you just notice that something is lagging or something is you know a little bit off you can just go to the website from amd or nvidia itself to get the latest drivers and then right here as you see it will take us straight to the you know the process of how to update the drivers and that will also cause a lot of improvements into vegas pro because of course i have to mention that your preview is of course run by your graphics card and that's something that has to be updated as well all right guys so now that we have updated our drivers it's actually very important to also make sure to check out the software updates for vegas pro so how to do that is we're going to click on help at the very top and then we're going to click on check for software updates now of course i already have the latest build of Vegas Pro 19 so it's going to say no updates available at this time but if you have an outdated version of Vegas Pro when you're watching this in the future let's say in six months from now you can just download the build straight from the website to update that one as well and if you want to be extra sure you can click on check for driver updates as well just to make sure that everything is matching so right here it says the system version says 472.12 and the online version the latest one that is available for download is 472.12 so that basically means that our driver is up to date. All right, guys. So the last method is basically a little bit more also for when your rendering gets stuck, not necessarily for, you know, the entire editing, because of course, this is only going to be when you're exporting. So if you want to render out your video, let me just go ahead and drag in a little something so I can just hit the export button right here. Just this random checkerboard. Let's go to file and then we're going to hit render as. And then right here, we of course have all the formats. Let's say that you have always been using the Magix AVC slash AAC mp4 one and all of a sudden you have let's say inserted a new style of footage let's say from your gopro instead of just your regular camera or your phone and then all of a sudden it starts to freeze or it just gets stuck at let's say 47 percent or even worse at like 99 where we're just waiting for nothing to happen and know that we have to do it all over again nine out of ten it has something to do with like the internal way of your you know footage like the codec and the format that it is so nine out of ten you know let's say if you have different formats combined such as mp4 from your camera and then you also have like dot mov footage from your iphone and then from your you know gopro or something like that it can actually be a little bit of a mix when it comes to having different files and different formats so i would just pick let's say sony avc slash mvc and then you want to pick your internet 1920 by 1080 30p and if you have your video shot in 50 fps you can just click on here click on customize template and then right here where it says frame size you're going to keep that one how it is and the frame rate is going to be 50 or 60 or just 30 or depending on like which resolution you shot it in and then you want to hit render right here and that is basically how you can go and also prevent these crashes while you know rendering or freezing and all that just try different formats try different resolutions as well and that is how simple it is so these are five or six little tips to you know stop Vegas Pro from crashing from freezing during editing during playback during you know exporting as well and that is how simple it is Thank you.